Newton code formula are the most common numerical integration scheme. You have learned the strip method previously, which is one of the Newton code formula. Strip method is also called the zero order approximating function. In simple, if you want to integrate a function fx from a to b to find the area within this region, strip method approximates the area by assuming the area to be a rectangular bar. And the area of this rectangular bar is equal to the height multiplied with the width, where the height is the fx at a particular end segment, and the width is the delta x, which is the step side. Strip method assumes the height to be a constant. Therefore, you have the height function at a particular end segment here equal to a constant, where you have the x power of 0. So, x power of 0 is equal to 1. So, this is also called the zero order method. We have demonstrated how to obtain the integration result by using the strip method previously. In general, we can define the height function to be a n order polynomial function like this. So this is known as the Newton Coase formula, where you can estimate the high function by using n order polynomial approximation function here. Please don't confuse the n for the fn here means the order of polynomial. So for example, if the n is equal to zero here, so this is n order polynomial, which is a constant. If n is equal to one here, you have the f1. So in this case, this is first order polynomial where you have a linear line. On the other hand, if we say n segment, it means how many bar or the area region that you have within the limit. So in this case, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 segments. So in this case, n is equal to 6. In this graph, you have one segment only, so your n is equal to 1. There are two different meanings for the n symbol here, so please don't confuse. If you choose n equal to one segment to solve the integration problem, this is called the single application integration method. If you choose the n to be more than one segment, for example, in this case, you have two segments to find the area. Then we can call it as multiple application numerical method. Normally, we don't perform the single application integration method as multiple application integration method is more accurate. We use the single application integration method only if the data is limited. So you see in the zero order method, you use a constant in order to estimate the height function here. This method is called the strip method and you need at least one point here to find the constant. For the first order integration method, you have the a0 plus a1x. So this is similar to the linear equation. And you need two points in order to find the linear line here, which represent the height function. So this is called the trapezoidal rule because the shape here is similar to trapezoidal shape. So for the zero order, you need one point to find the constant. For the first order, you need two points to find the linear line. So you can estimate that for the second order method, you need three points to find the height function. And then third order, you need four points. So number of points here is equal to n plus one, where the n is the order. So number of points is order plus one. Understanding the number of points required by each numerical method is important in the integration here. For example, if you only have three sets of discrete data and you want to find the integration for the fx, in this case, we can use the third order integration method to solve it because it needs at least four points. To solve this problem, we can use the strip method, trapezoidal method, and the second order method to solve it. So if you use the second order integration method, you just need one segment to solve the problem. If you use the trapezoidal rule, so you need two segments to solve this problem. And if you use the strip method, you need three segments to solve the problem. So when you are using the second order integration method, 
is also called the Simpson 1 over 3 rule. Third order integration method is called the Simpson 3 over 8 rule. Let's continue with the trapezoidal rule. So you know that for this method, it's a first order method and it requires two points to form a linear line. So this is the two points here. By linking the line between these two points, you obtain a linear line. So this linear line is the high function, which is the F1x. So this is your x axis and this is your fx axis. First point is located at x0 and the height is fx0. Second point is located at x1 and the height is fx1. In fact, we want to find the integration for the fx function, which is the black line here, from a to b. By using the numerical method, which is the trapezoidal rule in this case, we can approximate the integration which is the area under the curve by using the trapezoidal shape. By using this formula, we can find the area to be the width multiplied with the average height here. This average height can be obtained by average the first height with the second height here. So you can take the summation of the fx0 and fx1 Divide with 2 to obtain the average height and the width can be obtained by taking x1 minus with x0. For example, if you want to integrate the fx function from 0 to 1 here, then you can use the trapezoidal rule to solve it. So you can substitute the x1 to be 1, x0 to be 0, and the height is 6 and 5. So calculate this, then you can obtain the integration result. And this result is the area that you compute by using the trapezoidal area. And this result, when you compare to the actual one, which is the fx, you see there is a big discrepancy here. So this is called a truncation error. So in the previous example, you use one segment to solve the integration problem and you have a huge truncation error. We can improve the accuracy of the integration by increasing the segment, which is the n. So this is the formula. When you increase the number of segments, then the step size will be reduced. For example, in this case, you choose three segments to solve the integration problem. You see the truncation error now is much more reduced. So to increase the accuracy of the integration, you can increase the segment or reduce the step size. So if you have one segment only, this is called the single application trapezoidal rule. So we can improve the accuracy by increase the number of segments. For example, from n equal to 1 here, increase to n equal to 6. And by using this formula, so assume that your b is equal to 7 and your a is equal to 1 here. So 7 minus 1 is 6 divided by 6 here, you obtain the delta x equal to 1. This is called the multiple application trapezoidal rule. So if you have 6 segments, then you need 7 points. So number of points is equal to n plus 1. So you have first point at x equal to 1 here, second point at x equal to 2, third point x equal to 3, fourth point x equal to 4. Here you have the point number 7, which is at x equal to 7, point number 6 at x equal to 6, point number 5 at x equal to 5. In total, there are 7 discrete points. So if you want to find the integration for this function, where you have 7 points here, if you want to solve it by using the trapezoidal rule, then for every two points here, you have one segment. So two points, you have one segment. Three points, you have two segments. And if you continue, you can predict that seven points, you will have six segments. So you have seven points here previously. 
let's have one segment for every two points for the trapezoidal rule so you count it one two three four five six total you have six segments for the multiple application trapezoidal rule you have n segment here where the limit a here is equal to x0 and the limit b here is equal to xn substitute the limit x0 and xn inside then you should obtain this integration formula since we know the step size delta x equal to b minus a divided by n rearrange it you should obtain this formula so let's say xn is equal to 7 here so x0 is 1 here and based on the previous tabulate result here you have the delta x equal to 1 so 7 minus 1 divided by 1 you obtain 6 segments therefore you should have 6 segments of the trapezoidal shape to be solved so for the trapezoidal rule we solve the integration between two points so this can be separated into the multiple integration so this is the integration between point x0 and x1 here then you proceed with x1 and x2 x2 and x3 and so on until the last point xn minus 1 and xn to solve the integration at the first segment you need the width which is the delta x multiplied with the average height which is the fx0 here plus fx1 here divided by 2 you can continue to find the integration for the second segment here by taking the width which is the delta x multiplied with the average height here which is fx1 plus fx2 divided by 2 and repeat the same procedure until the last segment here so the area for this last segment is equal to the width delta x multiplied with the average height for last two points here which is this you can further simplify this formula to compute the integration by using the multiple application trapezoidal rule so we know that delta x is equal to b minus 1 divided by n where b minus 1 is the width here by collecting all the terms for the average height here then you should obtain something divided by 2 so at the top you have fx0 here and then in the end you have fxn at the middle you have 2 multiplied with the summation of fxi when you expand this term then you obtain it to be 2 multiplied with the fx1 plus fx2 and so on until fx n minus 1 this is because when you perform the integration here you are using these two height in order to find the average height here then you proceed to compute the area for the second segment here and you are using the fx1 twice to compute the average height therefore you need to multiply 2 for your fx1 area of the first segment give you this result area for the second segment give you this result so collect the term for the fx1 here then you obtain 2 fx1 and if you continue with other integration at other segment you found that all the fx point at the middle need to multiply with 2 here so when you success to compute this part this is the average height for the total function here if you multiply with the b minus a which is the width here then you obtain the total area and this total area is the integration result this formula is very useful make sure you master it let's try with the example here so you have one function and you want to integrate this function from a equal to 0 to b equal to 0 0.8 this is a polynomial function you can obtain the actual answer by integrate it with respect to a and b 
So 0.5 is a constant. After you integrate, you should obtain 0.2x. 25x, after you integrate, you obtain 25x squared divided by 2. By using the similar approach, you should be able to obtain the result for other terms. So substitute the limit inside, which is the 0 0.8 and 0 here. So substitute this limit minus with the substitution of this limit, then you should be able to obtain the answer to be 1.64. This actual answer obtained by the analytical integration will be used as the benchmark result. So in this case, we are going to solve the problem by using the numerical method, which is the single application of trapezoidal rule. Single application here means that we are using the segment equal to 1. So by using the formula to compute the delta x here, so you have b minus a divided by n equal to delta x, b is equal to 0 0.8, a is 0, divided by n is 1, therefore you obtain the step size equal to 0 0.8. So you have the delta x here and fx. So a is equal to 0, so the step size is 0 0.8, therefore you have 0 0.8 here. So you need to substitute the 0 and 0 0.8 into fx function. So after you substitute, you obtain the value to be 0 0.2 and 0 0.232. So you see over here you have two point and one segment. We can solve the problem by using the trapezoidal rule. So this is your x1, substitute inside here, this is x0, and then this is fx1, this is fx0. After you substitute, you should obtain this, and after you compute, the integration result is 0 0.1728. When you compare this result with the benchmark result, you found that the error difference is about 1.46. And the true percent relative error is high, which is approximate to 89.5%. This can be computed by taking the error difference divided by the true answer multiplied with 100%. Let's solve the same problem by using the two segment trapezoidal rule. In this case, your n is equal to 2, delta x is equal to b minus a divided by n b is 0 0.8, a is 0, n is 2, therefore you obtain 0 0.4. So you have the x data here which is from 0 to 0 0.4 where your delta x equal to 0 0.4 and then the next data will be 0 0.8. So over here you have two segments, then you need to compute the fx function, substitute the x inside this formula, then you should obtain this answer. So this is your point 0, point 0.1 and point 0.2. So we can apply this formula to find the integration result. So b is equal to 0 0.8, a is equal to 0, substitute inside, you should obtain this to be 0 0.8 n is equal to 2, substitute inside here, you obtain 2 multiplied 2 equal to 4. Substitute n inside this formula, then you need the fx0, which is 0 0.2 here. So you need the fx2, which is 0 0.232 here. Then you need to compute this term, where you have 2 minus 1 equal to 1 here. So you need to take the summation from i equal to 1 to 1. Substitute i equal to 1 inside, you have fx1, which is equal to 2.456. Substitute inside, you obtain this. So since you only have i equal to 1, and it stops at 1. Therefore, you have completed the calculation for this term. So you can take the calculation for this and you should obtain the integration result to be 1.0688. This is the error between the two answer and the estimation result by using this method. 
so you obtain it to be 0 0.57 take the relative error divided with the true answer and multiply with 100% then you obtain the 2% relative error which is equal to 34.9% H here means the step size which is equal to delta x is not the height so if you repeat the same example by using higher number of segments when the number of segments increase then the step size which is equal to b minus a divided by n will be reduced so this is the integration result by using the trapezoidal rule by compare the numerical solution with the actual integration result here the accuracy of the numerical method can be improved by using higher segment or smaller step size so you see we can improve the accuracy of the trapezoidal rule by increasing the number of segments this is known as the multiple application approach high number of segments means that you need to perform more integration this will increase the computational time so this is the drawback for the trapezoidal rule to solve this drawback you can use other numerical methods such as the simpson's rule which provides a more efficient and more accurate approach to find the integration